The long-lasting insecticidal net replacement exercise was at the instance of the Ogun State Government as ably supported by a non-governmental organization, the Society for Family Health, SFH, and Roadback Malaria Partners. The exercise was essentially to ensure massive replacement of the insecticide nets which were last distributed in the state in 2009 with the sole aim of curbing the spread of malaria which experts say put 3.4 billion people which is half of the world's population at risk. And as the distribution of these nets got underway across the state's 20 local government areas on Saturday 15th through Wednesday 19th March 2014, nothing was left to chance by the facilitators of the program at ensuring huge success. The nets are ready and the workers are on their feet. We had training for the DP, that is a distribution point a supervisors. They have been trained. The distribution point, we are... Uh, that has been written on the net card, that's where you go to collect your net card and to collect your net. And it's only women that are supposed to come. The turnout of people at the various distribution points was quite impressive with focal persons at these distribution centers educating them on the importance and usage of the insecticide nets. To them, the exercise was a worthwhile experience as appreciable progress was being recorded. In this center, we distributed 8,000 net cars, so we are expecting 8,000 people. The training we had is that if a couple is to collect cards, if, if there's no children, yes, you can give one net. But in a family of eight households, the household is opportune to have four card nets. They are really turning up well in this place. Since yesterday we have started, they are all coming well. To further drive home the essence of the exercise and the insecticidal nets in particular, drama sketches were presented at a number of distribution points with the beneficiaries, most of whom were women, applauding the Ogun State Government and its partners in the rollback malaria intervention efforts. To appreciate them and recommend them for this good thing that they supply us in this state. This net is so, so very useful, even for me. To because these mosquitoes these days, they are very tough. We just thank the governor that he really tried for bringing up this program. At the close of the exercise on Wednesday 19th March 2014, this is how the State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Ola Okunshoyinka, assessed the whole exercise. Much better outing. Uh, the whole uh, process has been uh, a bit different. Uh, there was a lot of planning uh, that has been going on uh, in, in conjunction with Society of Family Health across the state in all the local governments. So we are very happy. It's definitely improvement, an improvement on uh, the first campaign and we are confident that NETS are going to get to all corners of Ogun State. No fewer than 2.6 million insecticide nets were targeted for distribution during the exercise, and this represented yet another giant effort of the state government in truly rolling back malaria scourge in view of the fact that 97% of Nigerians are said to be at the risk of malaria attack, with a total sum of 270 million US dollars to say the least needed by the country to entirely roll back the disease. Additional Anidube, OGTV News.